first of all, I want to start by saying happy birthday. Happy. And what a fantastic present you had with a double winner on the weekend at Silverstone. Yeah, finally to get two wins was a, a nice uh, bonus, I think, for the hardships we've had all year. And to go through all the hard stages um, early on in the season, six rounds, to hit the seventh round and get two wins and uh, a new lap record as well was a bit of a dream come true, really, a bit of a dream weekend. But, um, you know, it's been three and a half years or so since I last won a, a motor race and that it can never be understated. It's a long time and to win a motor race, is, uh, there's no better feeling. And um, to come across the line, to lead the race like I did, to pull away, pull the gap like I did in race one, and uh, to get the lap record al along the way, was it was just all like a dream, you know. And I had to keep my head cool and my my uh, my mind uh, sort of chilled really for the last three laps because I was getting too excited. I think uh, it was a really short lap at Silverstone, so I knew it was coming up. But um, yeah, I just had to make sure I kept everything cool and crossed the line, just really jubilant and um, so excited. You actually took a pretty big risk. You went with a brand new team, things hadn't been going your way. What sort of pressure did you feel going into that race? I always focus on the process and uh, when we got to the weekend it was just a uh, case of making sure that Friday free practice went well and the qualifying we put it on the front row for the first time and already we were quite happy after the qualifying and then it got even better on Sunday for the two races. So yeah, it was just one of those things where we did it step by step and um, I just made sure I kept my head cool. Um, didn't let any distractions happen throughout the weekend and um, yeah, drove, drove, drove like I knew I could. And you've got your final race of the season this weekend. Are you feeling the pressure to kind of keep those top performances going ahead of this weekend? Not really. I mean, the, the big pressure was on last weekend, you know, to, to perform with a new team. And like you say, it was a massive gamble because obviously if it didn't go well, then, then I think there's only one person to blame. But I think having been in another car, another Porsche with another team and then moving teams and then winning straight away, and that was the first time out with the team, you know. I only met the team on Friday, or half the team on Friday. So the fact that we only just met each other and we made the result like we did, I think was um, really testament to all of our strength and, yeah, to everyone in, involved in the team and our side, really, the Bristol sports side, you know, to be able to go in and do the result we did, I think, um, was important. And now I think we can only get stronger, you know. We, we took the pressure off immediately and um, we're right there in the rookie championship. I think we're only a couple of points behind now. So there's everything to play for and um, I'm just pleased I was able to finally showcase my speed and uh, I say looking forward to showcasing that as well at Brands Hatch.